up doll collectors, gift givers, and miniature enthusiasts? I took a trip to Barnes and Noble in search of things we could use in the dollhouse. Near the checkout counter, we picked up a few of these little kits. They have prices ranging from $7.95 to $12.95 in the US and $10.50 to $16.50 in Canada. I see these all the time when I'm checking out and today I just totally gave in and bought a few. This mini twister set looked pretty interesting. It has finger socks. I didn't even know that was a thing. This mini version of the classic game that ties you up in knots offers a new twist. Now you can play with your fingers. This portable set includes mini twister mat, mini spinner, two pairs of mini tube socks for your fingers, 32 page illustrated mini book. Let's open it up and take out what's inside. Oh wow, it really has a little bag of socks. There are blue stripes and red stripes. I wonder if they can fit our dolls. They are a little large for our Integrity Toy Girls, but if you don't mind doing a little light sewing, you could easily resize them to fit. For the Integrity Toy Guys, I think we could get away with it. Might just need to pull them up a little bit and then put them in a shoe. And you got some socks. Definitely too large for the classic Barbie body, but they are a slightly better fit on Ken. Oh yeah, sandals and socks. That's a whole vibe. Here is the spinner and it tells you which finger to move. The pointer finger, the middle finger, the pinky finger, or the ring finger. And it spins. Here's the mini book that is included. It's a good size for our 18 to 24 inch dolls. And here is the mini twister mat. It's plastic and measures about six inches by a little over eight. All right, let's spin the spinner. <laughs> Not a great spin, but it says blue pointer finger. So that goes right there. Then we can spin again. And it says, uh, that's more on the yellow. I'm gonna go ring finger yellow. So my ring finger is there. There we go. And now I have to put the pointer finger on blue. It's already on blue. I guess this works better when you have like a, a partner. My Puma Barbies have volunteered. While I think the mat might be a little too small for them, you could probably still use it for some fun photography. For $7.95, here is desktop ping pong. No room for a ping pong table in your home or office? No problem. Now with desktop ping pong, you can take the game wherever you go. Included are two mini paddles, easy to assemble net, a ping pong ball, and a 32 page booklet on this fun and now portable sport. This is pretty cool. I made my dolls a ping pong table many years ago. So let's check out this one. It's definitely too large for one six scale. Probably better for our 18 to 24 inch dolls. The paddles are plastic with green and red foam. Here's the ping pong ball. There are two little wooden dowels and suction cups. They go right there. Slide the ends of the net over the wooden dowels. Then push the suction cups on a smooth surface. So my paper background is not going to cut it. Yeah, this is totally better suited for like our American Girls and Smart Dolls. But if we want to use it with our 1-6 scale dolls, we could probably use it as a net for tennis. Just use a larger wooden dowel and it should work. Table tennis, anyone? All right, get ready, Genesis. I'm about to serve. Mm. Up next, Fantastic Beast and where to find them. This is Newt Scamander's case with sound. It is $12.95 in the US and batteries are included. On the back it says, Magi Zoologist Newt Scamander's enchanted case never leaves his sight. Well, except on occasion. This kit contains a collectible miniature replica of the case carried along on Newt's adventures. Featuring sound and movement of the Neffler's hands coming out of the case. 
Also included is a 48-page book with full-color imagery from the film. Deluxe Mega Kit. But it's so small. Let's open it up and take out the case, some instructions, and the book. Wow, the book looks pretty cool. Once again, definitely a good size for our smart dolls. But the case is definitely perfect for one six scale. It has painted copper details, a little handle, and all we have to do is remove the little plastic in the back and open the case slightly to see the Niffler. That's kind of cute. You see his little hands pop out and we can hear his little Niffler laugh. The longer you hold it open, the longer you hear it. I think this is a great addition to the dollhouse, whether you are a Fantastic Beast fan or not, because when it's closed, it just looks like a suitcase. For $12.99, this is the Itty Bitty Marquee. This customizable kit includes a high quality aluminum framed marquee sign with unique light feature. Battery is not included. There are four changeable modes, steady, slow fade, twinkle and chasing 100 pvc tiles featuring an assortment of letters numbers characters and symbols so we can just pick out the ones that we want slide them into place to give ourselves a little motivational message to brighten our day it can stand up on its own I think this is actually pretty cool. Great size for American Girl and Smart Doll. Probably a little too big for our 1-6 scale office, but we could place it in the background, like maybe on a wall, and the lights will create a really fun effect. Here is the teeny tiny turntable for $12.95. Includes three LPs to play. On the back of the box, you can see what's included. A miniature record player. It has a plastic cover. The whole thing, in fact, is made of plastic. Here's a little turntable. And we have our little needle here, which can actually move over. There are three mini LPs, each with a printed sleeve. And they have 30 seconds of music. Printed stickers for customizing. We can place the sticker right in the center. Well, as best we can anyway. And now our record matches the sleeve and a 32-page book filled with fun facts about the best records of all time. When we place the record on the record player, it starts to play music right away. I've removed the sound because, you know, copyright and all. But you don't actually need to place the needle on it and the record doesn't spin. I do recommend placing the sticker on it after you learn what kind of music is inside. Cause, uh, yeah. For $12.95, I think this is a cute set. Personally, I would have liked to have seen the records turn, but this will look great in our smart doll room. Definitely a fun gift for the American Girl or smart doll collector in your life. Just saying. Ooh, definitely excited about this one. Bob Ross by The Numbers. For $9.95 in the US, $12.50 in Canada, discover the joy of painting with Bob Ross. Kit includes three pre-printed canvases with numbered sections, seven paint pots, paintbrush, mini easel, full color fold-out sheets with detailed instructions, 32-page illustrated book including painting tips. Yeah! Totally Barbie-sized. Or whatever 1-6 scale doll you're into. Here is the mini wooden easel. Here are the three pre-printed canvases, which fit right on the little easel. They are made out of a thick chipboard with paper on the front. The book shows each painting complete and has a few tips. There is a bag of paints with the brush, which could totally be little pots of paint for the dolls. And we have the instructions. These are all the colors that are included, but this landscape requires these colors, so we will have to do a little bit of mixing. I made myself a quick little paint palette out of recycled paperboard. 
to make the light blue, I'm using some of the blue paint. It's kind of a thin paint. Yeah, it's pretty thin. Kind of reminds me of like a glaze. Ah, it's getting everywhere. Let's mix in a little bit of white paint to make a pale blue. And then follow the instructions and begin painting the correct section. And I'm going to carefully go around the little mountains and try and stay between the lines. I can't say I am a fan of the paint. I almost want to just use acrylic paints. But this paint will not cover those black lines. So if it's important to you to see those lines even after the painting is complete, then this may be the paint for you. I've ditched the easel and I'm going with a thicker application. I'm just going to let the paint kind of pool in the areas so I can get more pigment and hopefully a slightly cleaner brush stroke type of thing. Adding color number two. I just added a tiny bit of white to the stock blue color. I am totally running through the paint by allowing it to pool, but it is creating this pretty cool marbling effect. If you can see that like right through there and down there. So it's kind of glossy. I like it. I am running out of white paint. So hopefully I can finish this painting. I like this pooling technique, but there is definitely not enough paint to do more than one painting. Hopefully we can do at least one painting. I tried mixing enough paint to cover these larger areas to make sure the colors match, but it does dry kind of quickly. So you kind of need to move with purpose and not waste too much time. Let's add a little green. I mixed a little green and yellow for this one. And we're just gonna fill in the space the best we can. This is Bob Ross, so mistakes are okay. They're just happy little accidents. And now we're just adding the last finishing touches then allow it to dry to complete our Bob Ross by the numbers painting. This took me about two hours to paint because I was trying to be so careful and stay in the lines and all. I don't have enough paint to finish the other two, so I will have to use acrylics at a later time. But it is a great size for the dollhouse. For all of you Friends fans out there, I thought this was pretty cool. It's the iconic Friends couch that they would sit on at Central Park, but it's a piggy bank. I want to say it is made of vinyl. It's kind of squishy, but it's perfectly sized for the dolls. It's orange with dark brown details. It says Friends across the bottom. There is a sculpted fringe. We have some nice texture right here, and it is finished all the way around. This was $19.99, and it measures about 10 inches wide. I think this is definitely a cute addition for those Miniverse coffee shops. Keeping with the Friends theme, we also found this cute little magnet. It's a miniature photo frame, priced at $4.99. There's a large magnet on the back and an opening on the top so you can insert your own photo. I think this is an adorable gift for a person who loves friends and who loves miniatures. Overall, I think we found a few fun finds and we can't wait to find more. Thank you for joining us while we checked out a few miniatures from Barnes & Noble. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!